What is going on guys, this is your boy Shadow here, and welcome back to another video. And this is actually an RC update video, even though I'm showing this stuff. But I want to say before we get into that, I have a computer case coming, a Fantex case that you guys saw on the what's going to be in my PC build video. Um, I showed the black and green one, it is not that colorway, it's a different one, so if you know, don't spoil it, it was on Snapchat, and Nate knows, so don't say anything. But... Also, I'd also like to give a shout out to Nate on Twitch, Effective12341. He streams pro quite a bit, just different games, mostly Fortnite. Um, when I get a PC, I'm going to start streaming with him. I'm not going to stream, I'll just be playing with him. And then once I get a graphics card, I'll be streaming because I'm not getting one for now. I'm going to be running off Vega 8 graphics for now. But let's get right in to the video. Right, next is um an update on the modified you guys can tell it's a little dusty and dirty from being out inside my yard <laughs> um testing and all that so a while ago i had an esc in there which was from my first mpxl5 which was maybe seven years ago when i got in the hobby i don't know if you guys can see it let me find it somewhere around here there's a slit on the wire there, which leads to bare wire. Then you got this soldering job. So, as courtesy of my friend, um, Sass Garcia on Instagram, he actually sent me, he offered sent me a new ESD, which was amazing on him. Like, not to mention how much they changed. This thing looks much nicer than that thing did. I don't have to worry about electric issues. Or, possible electric issues because who had known what could have went wrong there get a little bit of water in the wire if the trap was watered down a little bit whatever so now i'm making the most power on my motor and i'm getting the most kick that it should be getting it took me a minute to um program it with the throttle and pull and neutral and, and reverse and all that so I can tell you guys right now, I'm already getting a lot of kick from it. More than I have been getting, which is awesome. And also not to mention that ESC would also heat up really fast. After like five minutes of just doing some um, sharp left-hand turns in my garage one day, which wasn't a hot day. It was, it was actually, I gotta fix this. It's too hard on this side. But... I was just testing it in the garage on a concrete slab. Nothing around, nothing, no full throttle. It was kind of a foggy, not foggy, it was a cloudy day. I was live on Instagram, so. And it wasn't really hot, it was only like maybe 70, so. Which isn't bad at all compared to why I drive my Erevo in. So I knew something was up with the ESC. So Sask, I know you're watching this. Thank you so much. Not to mention when he sends me his stickers, he also sends me a Christmas card saying it's never too late to have Christmas spirit. Didn't get one this time, but let me tell you, he's literally Santa Claus. It feels like Christmas. But thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. I know you got Google RC in your kid slashes, which is awesome. So yeah, you guys should follow him on Instagram and follow and like his page on Facebook, Sask RC. And the body here is, um, got dog hair in there. Um, obviously it's collecting dust. I don't know why. My closet isn't dusty. But since the, since I know the guy who, whose wrap this is, I'm probably, he said he'd come to a race sometime when I, come up to a race sometime while I'm racing. So... If he does and he comes to watch, I'm going to have him sign it somewhere around here. So, yeah. He races sprint cars now, so. But this is an old modify. I'm going to write. What? Right? I'm going to wipe the dust off that and just do a quick kind of. I don't know. I don't want to say cinematic because I'm not good at it. But just do a quick overlook of it. All right. 
Alrighty, the next thing and final thing I want to talk about. Right here. Or two things actually. Um, first thing to be 64 over there is still for sale. Local pickup only. I'm not shipping. <laughs> Sorry guys. If you wanted it, but next, as you guys know, by the blue one, this is my V6 Club Racer, aka my V6D, because same thing. Now, I want to talk to you guys about this. Now, my local track that, as you guys have seen in videos, I race this at. The problem is, there's no one managing the off road now, so they're destroying, the, not destroying, they're taking down the off road track, and they are making two dirt ovals a big one and a little one in between and brought up the idea of moving in portable ramps when i asked what our off-roaders gonna do now i'm not really in portable ramps so unfortunately i'm not selling to be 60. no i'm not maybe i'll go there and try it out maybe it's worth try if not i'll probably bring my mud boss there I want to take the body off. <laughs> but maybe I'll try it. I'm not saying I like, I like going over to dirt jumps and having a whole designated track for off road. So if not, I'm going to try a different track that's a little bit down the road. Um, they have outdoor turf, indoor dirt. They apparently, they have a carpet oval inside and all this other stuff. So maybe I'll try it there because I really like this track that I used to to be going to full throttle but I would really like to see the off road today because there's definitely a lot of people who probably feel the same as me so yeah that's just a quick RC update guys um I say an RC update but I was talking about building my computer too so yeah obviously I'm a little bummed about that maybe maybe we can all figure something out that works for all of us but for now v6 is just staying like that till indoor season then when we get a little closer i'll clean her all up because she ain't set up for turf racing plus i don't really have time to race turf when i'm racing the dirt a lot of time so yeah kind of disappointed but that's all right it happens not a big hobby i mean it is a big hobby like a lot of people love it i know i love doing what i do every day i love going on my instagram checking out my own rc adventures sorry the body's on the wrong trigger squad <laughs> everybody's triggered now triggered squad but that's all right um i love everything i do but seeing like it's like seeing a hobby shop go out of business it's not that fun so you you just don't you just hate seeing it i hate seeing the hobby die so my goal here is to make sure everybody i can get people into the hobby as many as i can whether it's racing whether it's speed i don't have a speed car or bashing or a little bit lower budget bashing getting into a nitro vintage i mean heck even crawling so yeah guys um that was just a quick update video i just want to talk to you guys about that so i'm just gonna edit this quick um but that is the end of this video here i hope you all enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next one peace out guys